This video is on solving proportions and rates using cross multiply. The steps are number one, you're going to cross multiply. Number two, you're going to divide both sides by the number that's next to x. So let's cross multiply. Six times sixty five equals three hundred and ninety. Thirteen times x is 13x. You put an equal sign between them. Step number two, divide both sides by the number next to x. The number next to x is 13, so I'm going to divide both sides by 13. 13 divided by 13 is 1x. Another way of saying 1x is just x. 390 divided by 13 on my calculator is 30. 390 divided by 13 is 30. So the answer to this problem is x equals 30. The next one, 2.3 times x equals 2.3x. 15 times 34.5 is 517.5. There's an equal sign between them. What we're going to do next is divide both sides by the number next to x. The number next to x is 2 thirds. Divide both sides by the number next to x. 2.3 I mean, 2 divided by 2.3 equals 1x. Another way of saying 1x is just x. And then 517.5 divided by 2.3 on my calculator is 225. This is solving proportions. Okay, next I'm going to solve for rates. And so rates are a little bit different. In order to use cross multiply to solve rates, I'm going to say it's the steps are the same as above, except the units must match up on the top of each fraction and on the bottoms of each fraction. So when I have two, I'm going to have, in this problem, I'm going to have two fractions. The units must match on the top and the bottom. So on a map, I have four inches that represent 12 miles. So this is the first part of the problem. If the roads are 1.2 inches, 1.25 inches apart on the map, how far are they really? In other words, how many miles? So the first part says 4 inches represents 12 miles. So since I have inches on top, I have to have inches on top on the other problem. Let me clean this up a little bit. Remember here, we have to have the same units. So if I have inches on top, on the problem across the ways, I have to have inches on top. I have miles on the top, on the bottom, so I have to have miles on the bottom. So if the roads are 1.25 inches, this is the second fraction, 1.25 inches. The question is, how far are the part? Are they really apart in real life? Well, that's the x, the number of miles. So once you have inches on top, inches on top, miles on the bottom, miles on the bottom, it doesn't matter just as long as the units are the same on both sides of the fraction, we can cross multiply. 4 times x is 4x. 12 times 1.25. Might need a calculator for that one. 15. Divide both sides by the number next to x. The number next to x is 4. The number next to x is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1x. 15 divided by 4 is 3.75. And remember, when we deal with rates, we have units. And the rates here are miles. How far are they really apart if they're 1.25 inches on the on the map they are 3.75 miles apart let's try one more rate problem 
Three football jerseys cost $85. How much do nine? So here's three jerseys cost $85. That's my first fraction. Three jerseys, I'm going to say just jers, cost 85 and I'm just putting the dollar sign. So I have jerseys on top, so I need to have jerseys on top on the other side. I have dollars on the bottom, so I have to have dollars on the other side. If three jerseys cost $85, that's a first, how much would nine jerseys? Nine jerseys, and here's the number, the cost. Jerseys on top, jerseys on top, dollars on the bottom, dollars on the bottom, cross multiply, three times x is three x, nine times 85, I don't know, gotta use a calculator, 85, times 9, 765. Divide both sides by the number next to x. The number next to x is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1x. 765 divided by 3 is 255 dollars. Now this is dollars, remember, because the X is on the dollar spot. So nine jerseys cost $255 because three jerseys, see, nine jerseys cost $255 because three jerseys cost $85. I hope this video helps with the assignment. Thank you very much.